Uh, well, actually, it all started. I went to my, my hunting camp early that morning and I got there. A friend of mine was supposed to be there. He didn't make it. So I wound up overexerting myself and doing things that I probably shouldn't have been doing. Uh, I felt bad, so I left the hunt camp and was driving home when I felt the heart attack coming on. Having had two other heart attacks in the past, Quinn knew the signs and knew he had to get to the hospital quickly. Uh, basically, I went straight into the emergency room and uh, they wheeled me straight into the back. There was uh, no delay. Uh, they called my cardiologist, who was on call at the time, and he was there either in the hospital or right close by because he was there within a few minutes. When it comes to a heart attack, time is muscle. For the best outcomes, experts say that when a stent is needed, it should be placed within 90 minutes from the time a patient arrives at the hospital. At the lake, the average time is 77.6 minutes from the moment the patient arrives until the stent is placed. Pain is not normal. Uh, and chest pain uh, is an indicator of uh, something uh, possibly going wrong with your heart. Uh, and uh, from that time to the time that we fix things is, uh, uh, is important. We know that it affects mortality. Uh, so, uh, so from the time when it's of onset of pain uh, to uh, the time when, it, uh, 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 when we open it up, uh, as you add that time up, it, you have an increasing mortality. In other words, uh, your, your life is possibly going to be affected by it. Your life can be shortened by the amount of time you wait to come to the hospital. Two hours later, Quinn was in recovery, and within three days, he was home. It was actually very fast. By the time I got to the hospital, he was already in the emergency room. Uh, the doctor walked in about the same time I did and said, let's go on to the cath lab. and. We sat in the waiting room and I got updates about every 20 minutes until I was able to see him in recovery. Uh, I just I felt it was amazing that you can have a major heart attack on a Sunday afternoon around one o'clock and be home by Wednesday morning at nine o'clock. You know, it was just, I'm still amazed by it. Getting to go home so quickly gave Quinn confidence about a full recovery and eased his family's fears too. It meant a lot to me and the girls because this one was a bad one, and we were kind of scared that he would come maybe a little impaired, but we walked out together, we came home, the kids were there. Um, it, it, life went on. I think we even went shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now, Quinn and his wife are able to enjoy their favorite pastimes, cooking together for family and friends, and riding in Quinn's favorite car, a one-of-a-kind Corvette with the pet name Rose. After my second heart attack, I, something I always wanted, I wanted to own a Corvette. And I went and bought an old used one. Uh, it rattled, it leaked, it squeaked, it, it did everything. It, it was just ragged out, okay. Uh, I loved it. So I took it and traded it in and I bought me a brand new 2003. It, it was just a different color and, and I had never seen one like that. And I said, that's the one. Thanks to Quinn's timely treatment at Our Lady of the Lake, Quinn and his wife have a future and a lot to share with each other. Had they not been right there, right on time, everybody working, he may not have made it. It absolutely saved his life.